Hello, Sag. Sagittarius, I have a confession. I think um, doing your sign is the most exciting for me. <laughs> I think I think that is my confession because um, I just truly, like I meditate and as I meditate, there's just so many things that come out and I just, I never know where this reading is going to turn. So it might be the excitement. <laughs> I think that's that sag, like on the edge. You don't, you don't know what's going to happen. And I think I enjoy that. No, oh, shoot. But I, I am a sag rising, by the way. So I, I do crave um, excitement. And I just don't know what is going to happen when I do your reading. And I think I, like, it's fun for me. Oh my God. Anyway, when I was meditating on your sign, I kept hearing calm, calm, like be calm. So I don't know if you are going through, I hear transformation. You're going through a transformation and you're trying to be calm during the waiting period. Like you don't know what's going to happen maybe that's why I get excited like but for you I don't I don't think it's exciting <laughs> I don't think the wait is exciting to you and I hear a formal introduction so are some of you going out on dates and meeting new potential mates are you meeting someone's parents because you guys are getting growing closer and that's another thing. I think you could be going through a transformation in your relationship. And to your surprise, I think that things are about to take a turn in such a positive way. And it's, it's truly unexpected. I don't think that you're expecting what's coming for you. And I think that's why you're saying, be calm, be calm. Or someone is trying to calm themselves. Because I feel like anxiety and fear could be heavily at play. And it's because one is unsure of where the future will lead. Like someone, and I hear distance makes the heart grow fonder. I think there could be distance in your relationship or it could possibly see I hear foreseeable changes. There's there's changes that are coming that you're you're unaware of and they're they're positive. So aloof. You just you just don't know what's going on right now. Somebody is misplacing things. Like someone's head is in the clouds and they they're getting easily distracted. So they keep losing things. Someone could have lost their keys someone lost a bracelet it's like things are getting lost um i hear agitation so so be mindful of that if you could be going through this now where you're easily irritated you're losing things um frustration stagnation and that's beautiful because someone is um drinking more water someone could have even downloaded a, a app to be mindful of their water intake like in order to hydrate themselves more someone is going to the gym more in order well i hear burning calories someone's doing a weight loss program that is like calorie counting if not um someone is just being more aware of their calorie intake so I see like physique and body and fitness is really important to somebody right now. I feel like to the point it could be borderline obsession, like obsessed with their figure, making sure that they look good. And and honestly, I feel like it could have been like a shift in order to keep you distracted from things that are frustrating you. The gym can also be an outlet that somebody's truly going heavily on in order to release like anger, frustration, I hear pent up emotions. This to me, this looks like a guy, like a man who has pent up emotions and stress and they can be using the gym as like a, a, a way to release, release tension. 
I hear migraines, like somebody's been having headaches. And I hear block communication. So this can, like, if you're a Sag female and you are dating a male, it seems like this is something that they could be going through on their end. Because somebody thinks that, that it's the end. Um, someone seen forever with you or vice versa. Yeah, somebody's like trying to take control back over their life. Finances. Someone's finances could have, um, someone could have been spending a lot. And see, I feel like whoever is like spending a lot, over overly obsessive with, with like spending, somebody's overly indulging in something that they normally wouldn't, but I feel like it's a way for them to take their mind off of whatever they're going through. And I don't, because I see ice cream. <laughs> Somebody could be overindulging in sweets and putting on a few pounds and, you know, someone else is overly indulging and in going to the gym. I see spending, um, online shopping. It, it just seems like And I hear overplaying thoughts. Let me see. Spirit, give me more for Sag. All right. Oh, see? Oh my God. Oh my goodness. So this is this is a completion. This is like I don't know. Why does this look like horror? <laughs> Or somebody could be extra. Like, you could be extra. Things are, are not as bad as they appear to be. And whatever is happening right now in your world, the changes are for your higher good. There's no communication. And somebody's feeling betrayed. You know, somebody's feeling betrayed because someone stopped communicating. And they feel like there's some truth that's being withheld. This is coming to an end. And why does this look like a standoff? I feel like I hear purposeful. I feel like somebody I hear abandoned and didn't want to acknowledge certain things. I feel like somebody purposely cut communication or tried to cut ties, but I felt like they did this as a um a manipulative like tactic in order to to like in hopes that you would fall for them or in order for you to fall for whatever they wanted you to go along with that you that you weren't. So if you had a a significant other and um you could have been arguing back and forth things just not agreeing on things. I feel like I keep hearing the word abandoned. Like someone could have purposely used like blocking you as a way to like string you along or possess you or in hopes that you would abide by their rules. It could have been a way uh, of control. I hear to say the least. And I feel in the past, this, this tactic would have actually worked on you. But because of all that you've been through, you are hip to the game and I feel like, and not in a childish sense, but it's almost like you could have turned the game on somebody. Like their own game or tactic that they tried to use you as a form of control, it could have backfired on them. Where you're saying, well, if you ain't going to communicate, well, neither am I. Like I'm not going through another cycle of fighting in a relationship by myself. Like if you don't want to put in the work, I'm not putting in the work either. <laughs> It could have been something like that. Like somebody is just tired of being played. They're tired of being strung along. They're they're tired of of doing the most. You know, and coming out empty-handed. So 
I also feel like this could be a way that you are trying to protect your heart. Because I feel as if in the past you, you could have fell into this trap, you know, where, where people or a certain person would abandon you, neglect you. And then what you would end up doing is always trying to look within yourself to see, well, what did I do or how can I fix this? just for the door to be slammed in your face and it's now like you're you're getting more wiser so when you see this tactic coming up you're like hold up this this looks familiar to me and we're we're not we're not doing this we're not doing this narcissistic game anymore i'm not i'm no longer gonna fold i'm not playing into it so i so i feel like the person wants to go off but they refuse to so when i hear when i did hear in the beginning be calm be calm somebody is truly trying to tame themselves to not even entertain this person who cut them off like they're not trying to fall into it it's like they're standing their ground and who whoever did this it's gonna call it this is what caused the chains it's like you could have broke a chain because this is gonna cause a transition you know um yeah <laughs> It's, it's almost like because what you did is actually making the other person go within. And now they're checking for you, I hear. They think that you turned a blind cheek to them. And in reality, maybe you do want this to work. Maybe deep down inside you want to work, but you're just, you're just, you're, you're refusing to play this game with people. You're just not doing it no more. Yeah, look at this. You're you're getting balance back in your life. And I did say that. I see someone trying to go back to the gym because I don't know if your anxiety is truly high at this time. And finances, I don't know if your finances are, you know, could be you're doing some spending. I hear multiple transactions. So this is you trying to get your finances back in balance, um, your health back into balance. Yeah, and somebody's juggling a secret. <sighs> Let's see what the moon. Um, what is this moon? Ooh. Oh. So somebody is really, really defensive. Um, and they're in hermit mode. And this, this could be you, Sag. If it's not you, it could be for your cross watcher. I just feel like, some. once again, I said this already and I'll say it again. Someone is just tired of this cycle of manipulation. They're just tired. They feel, they feel backstabbed. They're tired of the same cycles happening. Even if you did move on, it, it feels like you're attracting the same type of lesson, but in a different body. And you're truly tired of this. You could be in hermit mode. You could be truly to yourself to shut down, trying to figure out what your next move is going to be. And you're pissed. So this can be somebody trying to find ways to um, not focus on this connection or not focus on their or on their rage or trying to put this karmic cycle to rest for good. Like just tired of just dealing with it, period. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh my God. See, so I think Either you or your cross watcher, like you, you totally like closed your heart off. I think you closed your heart off and you're, you're starting to invest more in your work in your, yourself in your healing. I hear divine, divine intervention. So this could be lots of prayer, lots of meditation. Um, and, and while you're going through that, like. The secret is someone is finally awakening, you know? I hear harboring pain. You could be harboring pain and you're, you're, you're sick of it. This person is finally awakening. And the thing is, it's like, yeah, someone is now scared. Like they're focused on you and they're finding, like trying to find ways that they can, I hear communicate with you.
And I hear opening the doors to celebrate. Maybe somebody is trying to find a way if they can come back around to you. They're going to ask you if they can take you out. If they can celebrate with you. They're going to try to find a way to open up the lines of communication. So like I said, whatever they were trying to do, it backfired. But at the same time, Sag, just give, your, give yourself a pat on the damn back. Because to me, like what this looks like. If you could have been in a third party in the past or if you could have been through narcissistic abuse in the past, it, it basically shows, and maybe that's what the universe does sometimes, they bring lessons back around to see if we learned. And for whoever, like whatever Sag this is, it's like you you put your foot down. You kind of seen the signs of it and you're like, wait a minute, this, this looks all too freaking familiar. We ain't going down the street again. I'm not, I'm not playing these games anymore. It's either we're doing this or we're not. And if you're not, cool. And I think you could have walked off with that attitude, but deep down inside it hurt you, you know? So now that you turned your back and now that you started to invest in yourself, and this is hermit mode. So you could either be with a Virgo. This is a lot of earth energy. Um, I see a lot of earth energy. Is, there's all the energies here. There's air signs, there's water signs, and, um, and, and and a lot of earth. A lot of air as well. So this, to me, is like someone is waiting on mental clarity. Um, somebody can be in their head a little bit too much, overthinking, overanalyzing. But somebody truly wants the Ten of Cups with you, or they see you as their Ten of Cups. Like somebody wants to rush back in and save this relationship. Clarify for the cross watcher. Hmm. See? <laughs> for the cross watcher, look at this. Um, they're not nurturing themselves right now, you know? This is this is somebody who's having a pity party, somebody who probably feels like nothing is going my way. They're afraid. They see you as wish fulfillment, but they're getting anxiety because it's like you're not giving in to them or you're not giving in to the temptation. Like they, there's no calls. So maybe you used to call or text and it's like a standoff. You're, you're not giving in. They're not giving in and they're starting to get nervous. Yeah. And someone is truly feeling burdened. Like, I don't know. This give me vibes like someone's playing hard to get. Although you are not extending any offers to this person and you are like you tried to shift the focus to me it seems like you're still burdened that this person hasn't came forward that's what that's what i feel like you're burdened because they not they haven't came forward it's like you're standing your ground and and so is this person because they're starting to feel anxiety like they see you as wish fulfillment and they see that you're no longer nurturing this or giving into this either. And now they're starting to figure out ways of how they can come and communicate with you and give you an offer. And then it, it, it shows the sun. So it's like, let's see. Could be a happy outcome between you and this person or whatever is going on. Yeah. This is like a brand new beginning. This is a an opportunity for this to come back around. Yeah, look at this, the Ten of Pentacles. This is beautiful. But see, it shows you're going to have a brand new beginning in love. There's a brand new beginning right here. Like somebody is going to take a leap of faith and come towards you. And whatever they have to offer... You're going to be happy. And to me, this this looks official because look, this is like longevity, security, and this, this is lots of love, lots of stability here. Um, 
And yeah, look, like you walked away and now it's like basically you're focused on balancing your money and you're focused on like your happiness, you know? So maybe you're trying to get your mojo back. Like you're just tired of dealing with relationships, like dead end, dead end relationships. Like you're, you're tired of it. Yeah. And this is nice. Like, it's like there's, there's an ending. If you were arguing back and forth with someone, this shows like this is coming to an end of all this back and forth between you and a significant other. Let's see. See? Past life, relationships, and it shows new love. So this, this relationship is going to be renewed. And it also shows passion and someone making the effort. Like to extend some light and some light energy towards you. And this is your soulmate. And you guys have lots of chemistry. And look, worth the wait. So this is coming back around to you. I hear like short lived discord. So it could be a situation where you guys could have broke up. You could have thought it was over. And I hear they played a role. It just seems like you both could have been at fault in this. <laughs> and and this is giving you both some time to go in both, like for you both to go into your corners and go within. And I feel like it's, it's to bring you back even stronger. That's the way I see it. Let me see. I have these new surrender cards that I, that I love. I like the surrender cards. Um. It shows you like what you need to surrender, like whatever you could be working on. It could be within yourself. Let's see. What do Sagittarius need to surrender? Ooh, I also see a flight. Is somebody going away? Is this a vacation? A vacation or is it just me time? I see flying across the country like it's gonna be a safe flight it's gonna be fun somebody's really like having a good time so i see that a vacation is on the horizon for you sages oh this is so sweet it says surrender to miracles be open to miracles occurring in your life feel and know that these events are real let go of any resistance and banish any doubt that miracles can happen. This is so beautiful. Let me see what else. Surrender to the beauty of the natural world. I feel like somebody is going away too, by the way. Who, who is that taking a trip? Take a relaxing break and I <laughs> take a relaxing break and spend time in nature. Replenish yourself by feeling the beauty and the ecstasy there. So this is, this is beautiful. Sages, finally. All right. And it says surrender to creativity. So let your imagination soar. Stay open to all creative ideas about how to pursue a dream or solve a problem. This is a beautiful reading, Sages. I have to admit. Because things was looking a little <laughs> shaky for y'all. <laughs> But I'm so happy that this is such a beautiful reading. So I send you so much love and light.